Hi everyone. Uh, did you know that as an oil painter, after you've cleaned out your brushes with your odorless mineral spirits, you're left with quite a bit of sludge at the bottom of a recycled tin. And you can actually reuse the sludge at the bottom by draining it and squeezing it out with a paper towel so that it ends up as sort of a dry pigment again. So what we're gonna do is reconstitute that sludge into making it another paint. So what we've got here is I've got um, a glass piece um, and a glass muller. It's got um, a nice smooth edge and flat bottom. So you can actually grind those pigments in properly with either we've got a schmincke um, oil binder so you just use this straight from the bottle and you can also use just refined linseed oil as well so we're going to do both today so i'm just going to pull out a bit of my pigment and i'm just going to try the schmincke first so what i like to do is just take a bit drizzle it on top of the pigment. Sort of get it into a really thick paste just to sort of constitute. This is still quite a bit dry so I'm going to add another little palette full here and mix some more. And once you feel that it's a pretty good consistency, I think this is still just maybe one more little bit here. That should be good. And I'm using maybe half a teaspoon, really, um, to about a tablespoon of um, the sludge. So that's a nice consistency right there. So I'm going to take off as much as I can with a palette knife. And then I'm going to use my muller. And I'm just going to really get those pigments and the medium really together. This helps meld things quite nicely. If you were using a dry pigment, the muller is especially helpful, making sure that it gets in contact with each of the dry particles. So, now, I think that is pretty good. So what I can do now, I'm quite happy with this consistency. It's kind of got that consistency of paint coming out of a tube. And now I can put it in the tube. So we've got empty tubes here and I'm just going to put that in. So this can be a little bit of a process, but it's great for reusing, recycling all your paints and not have to worry about chucking it in a, in a landfill anywhere. So that is the first step. The next one I'll try is with the linseed oil instead. So again, I'll pull out some of the pigment. And this is the linseed oil. So this color may look quite ugly, but um, depending on the colors that you use a lot, it can vary in tint or hue. So it can have more of a greenish hue, more of a, a brown hue. It just sort of depends on sort of the colors that you use as well, which is kind of cool. If you find that it's, um, if it's too runny, you can always add more pigment, um, more of the sludge, sort of get a nice consistency. You may occasionally find a hair or two from a brush um, that you were using in the past. So just a little bit more. Good. I like this consistency. I'm using a little bit more this time, or making a bit more. And the um, this jar that I've got here um, took me about three years. All right, and I'm ready for the muller again. It's really making sure everything is incorporated together. I think 
That is good. And this one is now ready to go into the empty tube. And because they're both binders, um, both the Schmincke and um, the refined linseed oil, putting them together is not that big a deal. Um, they're all going to work the same. But just trying to gather everything together. The linseed oil might be a little bit thinner, but it's not bad. So once you get a good tube full, um, you can sort of bring up the air and crimp the bottom and you're ready to go for a new masterpiece. So when you fill up your tube, there is uh, a little mark on the inside, you don't want to go past that white, that white band, otherwise it's going to squish out. So what I have done is just, I've made it flat, and then I've just crimped it a bit, and then I fold it over twice, just to be on the safe side. And voila, you have your lovely sludge filled tube of paint. So you can check me out on ShellyBanksArt.com or on Instagram, ShellyBanksArt.